Bubba Wallace had a very interesting weekend at North Wilkesboro, to say the least. Leading up to that weekend, he was coming in with a lot of momentum. The last time we talked about Bubba Wallace on this channel was in our Revisiting 2311 video. The team got off to a rough start to open up the first six races of 2023, scoring just one top five and DNFing three times during that span, with the lowest point coming at Coda, where Bubba Wallace said live on air that he should be replaced. You didn't really know where Bubba Wallace and his team were going to go at that point, but ever since then, they have turned the corner. In the seven points races that have taken place since Coda, Bubba Wallace has scored two top fives and three top tens. Those finishes were good enough to put him back in the playoff picture. Not a bad way to enter the all-star break. With no points on the line, it was just about having fun all weekend. In the truck race, Kyle Larson was clearly the most dominant. Bubba was leading in the closing laps on older tires and before Larson passed him, wanted to give him a challenge. New leader at North Wilkesboro. It's Kyle Larson. Bubba's back. Crossover move. Larson back to the inside. Ty Majeski coming with him. What a great move by Bubba. Didn't think he was going to be able to pull that off. There was no way Bubba Wallace was going to win the race, but he ended up finishing fifth. Some other trucks with fresher tires were able to get by him at the end, but he was able to hold his own. After the race, he gets asked by one of the local reporters about all of the booing, and in my opinion, he answered this in the best way possible. Can I, can I ask you a quick question about um, the boos after the end of the truck race? It's every week. Yeah. How does it make you feel? Not great. Okay. I mean, you did well today. Thanks. Uh, it, so it doesn't bother you at all. I mean, yeah, but it's it's Still sports. It's sports. It's always going to be there. It's always it going to be there. It wasn't on a different level today than any other day. You're really close to the to the stage. Hey, as long as you continue to live your life judging a book by its cover, that's who you are. Don't change it up for anybody else. And of course, during driver intros the following day, Bubba Wallace decides to just straight up troll the fans booing, and I don't blame him. At this point, I think he recognizes that no matter what he says or does, it's always gonna be there, unfortunately. I know there's gonna be some people out there asking why even feed into it, and my counter argument to that is, do you remember drivers like Kyle Busch doing the crying face towards fans? It's about time Bubba Wallace does a bit of troll towards parts of the fan base. It's not like he was given the middle finger door. Oh gosh. After finishing second to Kyle Larson in the all-star race, he was caught giving the middle finger right before he was beginning to answer questions. While it caught a lot of fans off guard in the moment, most thought it was funny. But of course, since it's Bubba Wallace, you know somebody out there is going to be outraged. It was a Bubba Wallace video that launched the success of this channel out of nowhere and of course that was the garage pull rope hoax now over the weekend nascar had an all-star race at north wilkesboro and uh bubba wallace just continued to add to the resume of being somebody that nascar fans just cannot stand many people believe that if bubba was white he might even be in the truck series right now and he might not even be in nascar so what does that tell you? Well, yep, there it is right there. Best. He did do this on the this air. Wow. Second, your best wow, that's despicable. Yep, what a loser. He's getting drug, as you can expect. It's shocking that as many NASCAR fans have hung around in light of what Bubba Wallace has pulled anyway, because a lot of fans left. Diehard fans left. What are you talking about, bro? What in the hell are you talking about? First off, you don't speak for NASCAR fans saying they can't stand Bubba Wallace. I'll admit there's a portion who can't, but it's nowhere near close to the majority who actually support him. And also, a diversity hire? Really? While he's not a championship contender, Bubba Wallace is at the very least a Cup Series talent. I thought scoring two victories would have proven that already. And also, you're acting like he's the first driver to ever give the bird on TV. Take a look at the long list of drivers that have done the exact same thing, but have gotten praised for it. So that dude's either totally misinformed or he's being completely dishonest. It's funny how he chose to nitpick that Bubba Wallace moment and completely left out what was said on his radio after the race. Where you came from, you asshole. You suck in your 
you're not wanted in NASCAR. That was some asshole that got on Bubba Wallace's radio frequency and said that following his race Sunday at North Wilkesboro. Now at the moment, NASCAR security is investigating to that comment towards Bubba Wallace and according to 2311 Racing, he did not hear those comments at that time. Hopefully, I shouldn't have to explain why go back to where you came from is incredibly racist to not just a black person, but any person of color, any minority in this country, why that is extremely racist thing to say. But I'm not surprised. Ever since 2020, it has always been the theme that 80 to 85 percent of the haters or the people that boo Bubba Wallace more than likely is a different reason. There are some people that don't like Bubba Wallace just because of his personality and what he does on the racetrack. And that's fine. But there is an overwhelmingly large portion of the haters that are booing him for a completely different reason. And I'm sick and tired of it. For that person to say you're not wanted in NASCAR, it's kind of funny. You are not wanted in NASCAR. Bubba Wallace deserves to be in NASCAR. He's proved that he deserves to be in the Cup Series. You, on the other hand, that racist scumbag does not deserve to be involved in the sport. And anybody that agrees with his statement or thinks what he said is okay, you're not welcome either. Jet pretty much hit the nail right on the head. The point about not liking Bubba Wallace because of personality and the way he drives is totally valid. While he has two Cup Series victories, there have been times where his driving has come into question. The most recent example taking place at Las Vegas last November, where he completely right hooks Kyle Larson, pushes him into his own car, and then proceeds to get suspended for a race by NASCAR. At times, he can underperform. At times, you wonder if he's in his own head. But to completely discredit him and say he doesn't deserve to be there at all, nobody wants him there, you're just not being honest one bit. Now, if we're gonna keep it even more real, we need to talk about the current situation of the team. Right now, overall, they seem to be improving, but don't forget, they have Tyler Reddick as their number one driver now. So you already knew going into the season that everybody was going to be tracking the progress of the two. It's already one thing for Bubba Wallace to have to deal with competition coming from his own team, but it's another when he has to deal with racist parts of the fan base consistently. It's a shame he still has to deal with stuff like this in the year 2023, but unfortunately, that's the way it is. In conclusion, Bubba Wallace is beginning to improve race by race early in the 2023 season while also doing a little bit of trolling in the process. I think I speak for most NASCAR fans when I say we all agree Bubba Wallace deserves to be in the Cup Series because he is a Cup Series talent and if there's anybody we want out of the sport it's those racist SOBs who hacked Bubba's radio. Let me know in the comments how you feel about the situation, did you like Bubba's trolling, how are you feeling about his on track performance and do you think we'll see him in victory lane before season's end? And once again that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.